good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel I hope everyone's all right and that you're staying well and looking after yourselves today the video that I'm uploading today is very special to me personally and in many respects has been a long time coming. As quite a few of you know, I am a reclaimed metal sculptor. And a few of you know that I also write poetry and short stories. Some of the short stories will hopefully be turned into full length novels at some point. It's been an amazing couple of years uh, because of the Covid and the lockdowns and that need to create something within my artistic abilities and I have spent quite a lot of time writing and I'm very happy to say very proud to say that at this moment in time I have three books which have been published via Amazon. The first one I have is called From Inside My Mind Disturbing Poems for Disturbed People there is the front cover and there is the back cover. At this moment in time this book is available from Amazon. It's £8.99 and it's also available from the Ukeldra Centre. Uh, in North Wales, in Anglesey. Um, I will just open the book to anywhere and I will read you one of the poems. And let's see what you think. This one is entitled Nightmare. When I awoke deep underground where silence was the only sound. I start to scream in desperate fear, yet I was the only one to hear. Trapped inside a box of wood, through my veins ran living blood. In total blackness I could not see. I knew this was the end for me. Upon my lips the taste of blood my fingernails scratch at the wood. I hear my heartbeat in my ears. Through my mind a thousand fears. The air grows thin. There's just a breath. Just a heartbeat away from death. Passing out to awaken again. Please take me now and end this pain. Terror and blackness all around. My heartbeat now the only sound. One last deep breath to take me away. Never again to see the light of day. Suddenly I hear a noise, a distant bell. Is that to welcome me to hell? No, it's just my damned alarm. Knock to snooze with outstretched arm. I hope you enjoyed that little twist at the end. But this is, as I said, disturbing poems for disturbed people. And so far, the response to this book has been very good. The second book to be published is called Dark Thoughts. Thoughts from an Eclectic Mind. 
and here is the cover and here is the back I'll read you a poem from here again so you can see what you think and whether you would actually be interested in perhaps purchasing one which if you did would be wonderful this book is actually full of short stories all of a dark nature of course and the poem I shall read to you is called Passing Over and this poem was about a woman that I knew who was dying and I'm visiting her to note the deterioration within her body uh, day after day the poem is called Passing Over Empty eyes stare up with fear Skin once flushed with pink tone now turning yellow Hands reach out to something some invisible force within the room that only the dying can see. The spectre of death awaits. Mortality fades away as the morphine is increased. Life is passing away into that great beyond. Death stands with open arms beckoning. Come to me, he says, for I will give you rest. Fear me not, I am here to set you free. Still death waits, prolonging the pain. Opiates in metered doses enter the vein. Not administered by a caring human hand. Instead, a syringe drive pumps in the poison. Then that final breath. The jaw falls open, the rattle of death within the throat. Another life gone forever from this place. Death smiles as he looks upon the dead body before moving on to his next victim. Uh, as I say, there's a lot of poetry in here. A lot of dark things again. And there's also some completely different things which are, as it says, thoughts from an eclectic mind. I believe that this book is £11.50. Again available from Amazon. And also available from the Okeldra Centre in North Wales. Now this last book is the one that has possibly given me more pleasure because this particular book has been oh, at least 18 years in the writing and it is called The Grumpfutter Chronicles and it's aimed at the younger reader as it's all about fairies, goblins, gnomes and pixies. The Fifty Shades of Fae. And there's Grumpfuddock. He is actually a gnome. But he's not only a gnome, he's the king gnome. And here is the back of the book.
This book contains 65 poems, all of which are about King Grumfutuk and the exploits that he undertakes daily and the other people that he meets in the place where he lives, which is Newborough Forest. And Newborough Forest is on the island of Anglesey. And as I say, this one has given me particular, particular pleasure. Because it has been a long, long time in, in happening. And if you look there on my arm, there's a tattoo which was done for me by an old friend called Patrick. And it is of Grumpfutuk. And again I will read you a poem from this book. And we'll let you know what, what, what you think. I'm looking for a particular poem for you called Edward. And here it is. Edward is one of the many people who live in Newborough Forest. <clears throat> and the poem is called Edward the Sorcerer. And it goes like this. There was a sorcerer called Edward. He lived in a hole in the ground. Covered with twigs and bracken. With spiders all around. The spiders' webs were everywhere. The spiders were free to roam. Edward liked them being there, in this place he called his home. He loved to perform his magic when the moon was high at night. Spiders' webs were in his beard. He was a very strange sight. He uttered some magical words and pointed his hawthorn wand then after he finished his magic, there appeared a shimmering pond. His sorcery was so powerful, the spiders all ran to look, as he turned the ancient pages of a magical sorcerer's book. He magically made some dragonflies. He made many kinds of fish. He then sat down and had dinner, out of his tortoise shell dish. Edward had spiders wet curtains. They fell as a veil in his home. The spiders all gathered together and they ran through his beard like a comb. After he finished his dinner he lifted the spider's web veil. He picked up his wand and he waved it creating a boat with a sail. He sat by the pond and he pondered on the magic that he had done. Then he magicked some butterflies. Edward was having great fun. The spiders all sat down beside him, staring at this wonderful sight. Edward in magical splendour, where everything looked so bright. His hawthorn wand did wonders creating some toasted bread. Come along, spiders, said Edward. It's time to go to bed. And as I say, this book has been at least, at least 18 years it has to be in, in the making. There have been many promises surrounding this little fellow over the years with books being interpreted into different languages where people were going to make certain YouTube channels all about Grumpfutuk and at the end of the day I, the author and creator of Grumpfutuk I'm so happy to say that Grumpfutuk is here for everyone to enjoy. 
So that's my good news for today folks. Three books published and another two in the pipeline. There's one more which is a book for children and another book which is entirely uh, about vampires. So I'd like to thank everyone who has supported me over the years. Carrie Harrison, Ben Hardcastle, Katie Thomas, Paul Ellum, Molly Chapman, Adam Chapman, Sarah Rowe, Gua Oen Pete, B. Kelso, Andrew Sinnott, Peter Dickinson, Angie Kruger, Steve Robson. So, so many people have supported this project over the years. And I'm so proud and happy that it's now here. It's in book form and who knows where it may go from there. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the poems that I read. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Click the like button if you liked it. Feel free to leave a comment and hit the bell icon for any future uploads. And of course, if you are interested in buying any of these books, they are available on Amazon.co.uk and also at the Okeldra Centre in Holyhead in North Wales. Further outlets are being looked for and I just thank you so much once again. Thank you all so much for your support. The encouragement you give me is amazing. Namaste. Bless you all. Thank you.